Everybody, welcome back to Iron Oak Sawmill. Where's my partner at over here? Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Hello. G guess what, guys? It's uh, Black Walnut time again. <laughs> Black Walnut Marathon part number six, I believe. We got two logs here. We got to knock these out quick. We've got rain coming for a week straight, and we just want to get these out of here. We're going to be loading them directly onto the trailer back here in the background and on out of here. Everything five quarters thick. Uh, Let's get some close-ups of what we got to cut, and there's some, some nice looking logs here. I think you're gonna like them. Stay tuned. All right, so, got one up on the mill, one here on the ground. Wait, this is the big end. Well, anyway, on the big end, inside of these little, yeah, whatever you wanna call that, <laughs> we got ourselves about 22 inches. There is a split here, so we're gonna have to make sure we cut in line with the split, so we'll be squaring it up and milling it down through. No slabs on these today, guys. These are all gonna be five quarter boards, so we're cutting lumber. Coming around the side here, you see we got one branch nub sticking out here, so we're gonna have some figured wood on this one. We also have a lot of mud, so I'm gonna try to get below this on the first cut. Uh, even though the barker works on this machine with the deep furrows in this bark, it hides down in there, it hides rocks. It's real fun. <laughs> all right, come around here to the small end. We got ourselves about 22 inches. And length on this one, hang on there, Deb. Just over eight foot, about eight foot four, so. Now, coming up here on the one we got lined up on the mill already. Seven foot one. About 16 inches on the small end inside the bark. This said about 21, 22, depending on where you measure on all these, these undulations on the side here. This is a big old crotch that they trimmed off here, but we're gonna square it down. No slabs, again guys, five quarter board, so we're gonna end up taking this off right around in here, getting this side squared up and going from there. We already took care of uh, leveling the pith, so we're gonna go ahead and get start sawing. Starting off with a seven degree turbo, from ReSharp. We keep our uh, new blades in reserve just in case. Blade tension is correct. Water's on, or water's in place anyway. And we're gonna have to uh, get a little heat in the engine here first. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Dirty logs. 16 should do it, but I don't think I'm gonna make it with this here, so.
I'm on you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, keep going. Keep going. Who is that? Sparkle.
exact same place as with the club. Beautiful. Open that stuff around. Yep. The black walnut curse continues. A little metal there, a little metal there. I don't know if that's steel or not. I think it's aluminum or bullets because the blade kept cutting nice. Uh, we're still going to swap it out because we want to keep these boards as flat as we can. Man, Ooh. you're out of breath. Not their nails. They are not the best nails in the world, that's for sure. That blade went through them and that's it. It, did, it, did, it kept cutting. You said it felt like it got harder though? Yeah. I could tell I hit something. I heard it, but it, it I'll tell you what, the, I'm looking down the cut, the blade was still cutting flat. I don't know, keep going. But I don't want to dig any deeper than I have to. There you go. There we go. Got it's coming it. out. Well, that's definitely a nail. <laughs> Got a chisel around it enough. There you go. Yay. Yeah, but let's check and make sure there's nothing else. I did see some a little bit of staining on the outside of this, but I wasn't sure if it was just discoloration in the log or what. But all right. Yay! Metal. <laughs>
Uh, a little dark staining here. We had to nail this on the other side. But still, a lot of nice, clear black walnut. Just that one knot. Nice. Man, it seems like the metal is just messing us up lately. You got some on that side too. Pile of it. Some really clear on this board as well. This this end down here. This had the issues with the split, a couple of nails, but overall, I think this one was a success. Got ourselves some good lumber. I don't know if this guy's into using these little pieces like this, but we're going to suggest it. These had some really nice figure to them. Here. That's pretty. I like there that you one. Go. That's really nice right there. It's almost, it's, it's, it's not really crotch figure because this was cut in from this is where the branch came out towards towards the camera. Just crotch finger from a different angle. That's all. <laughs> but that's a that's a three foot piece right there. It's pretty nice. You want to switch? I'll carry them over. Nope, I got them. All right. They're pretty. We can do something with these. And well, once again, the sun's dropping over the mountain here on the other side of the valley on the Ironic Sawmill. And we're wrapping up an afternoon of sawing some nice black walnut logs. Unfortunately, the black walnut metal curse continues here on Black Walnut Marathon number six. six yeah. Number six. Um, three nails, hit two of them, missed the third one. And that third one was a big old spike, but we got it out of there, finished milling it up. Could have swore we had some other metal in there, but luckily nothing showed up and we were in good shape. But I think the customer's going to be happy. What, yeah. 200? How much 40, was it? 240. 240 board feet. Um, probably more than that. That's what we calculated in the log. And like I said, we always end up with a little bit more. Um, and we even got some nice figured stuff off of that one branch nub that was sticking out. And I think he'll like that. Yeah, Charcuterie nice, boards yeah. or some crafting projects, something like that. I think they'll look nice. Okay, we've got, what have we got? Three jobs here lined up at the mill. We've got some English walnut, some maple. We've got more black walnut, uh, a bunch of red oak here. And we've got some more stuff coming in here at the mill directly. We have a off-site mill job. Um, next weekend. Next weekend, uh, more black walnut. I don't know if we'll get any footage of that, guys. We might have a little bit of a push trying to squeeze it in with the weather, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can catch some footage, it'd be nice. Um, that's gonna be what, live edge slab and a little bit of lumber, I think? Yeah. Yeah, okay, but we'll, we'll have a good time doing that one. Hopefully we'll get some video for you guys. Okay, one of the channels that Deb and I ran across lately and uh, we've been checking out is uh, Logan Logan. Uh, young guy really busting his butt on his channel to make things happen. And uh, you, don't, you don't see the young guys doing that kind of work anymore. This guy is. So uh, go over and check out his channel. Again, that's Logan Logan. Give him a thumbs up. And subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you'd appreciate it. And tell him Chuck and Deb for any I know Sawmill sent you over there, okay? Definitely appreciate that. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here with the Iron Oak Sawmill. Um, if you're interested, Iron Oak Sawmill merch, we finally got all that together. Um, we got t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, hoodies, tank tops. It's not the weather for tank tops, but that's coming soon enough. Um, uh, coffee mugs and I think stickers. All different styles of, of stuff there and lots of colors. Lots of colors. <laughs> She always They're wants to make sure. Gray. Yeah, it, it looks like that on the front page, but go and click on whatever you're looking at. Go in, and there's lots of colors to select from, and uh, I think you'll find something you like. All right, I go. That's good. You good? You ready to go in? Yes, I am. Cold? A little. A little bit cold. No. Well, this will be last day for a little bit. That we're out here because it's supposed to be raining for like the next five days. So welcome to the weather in uh, Pennsylvania. If we uh, can get out, we'll get out. Yeah. <laughs> So if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill, how we're running the mill, the tractor, the equipment we use, any of the tools we use, uh, put it down in the description. We'd be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out, and we'll see you at our next time. And take care.